Hi, and welcome to How to Use Web Stories for WordPress. My name is Jonathan. In this series, we're going to take a look at the different functions of Web Stories for WordPress. Today, we'll start with a little tour through the editor. The goal of this episode is to help you understand the general functions of the editor and start adding our first elements to a page. I am assuming that you have Web Stories for WordPress up and running. If that's not the case, have a look at the links in the description below. You either need to install WordPress on your own server or you need an account at wordpress.com with access to plugins. All right, let's get started. In your WordPress dashboard, scroll down to the Stories icon and click it. And you'll end up on this page that I'm already on and it will show all the stories that you've already worked on. If you haven't created any story, then this page will be empty. Below this My Stories menu is another menu. It's called Explore Templates. And if you click on it, you'll see all the templates that Web Stories for WordPress has in store for you. But for now, what's important for us is this button here, Create New Story. Let's click it. Aha, now we're in the editor. In the center, you can already see an empty story page. And this area in general is called your workspace or story canvas. On the right is your design panel and on the left is your element panel. But before I'm going to talk about these different panels, I want to show you this help section here on the bottom. This menu contains a few helpful quick tips about the editor and I recommend you check it out to learn about some crucial features. For example, about how to enable the swipe up option on one of your pages. And below you'll also find a few helpful links, for example, one that leads to a start guide if you want to read about how to get started with Web Stories for WordPress. Another one leads to the support forum. And the third one leads to a YouTube series about Web Stories, Storytime, where you can learn all about Web Stories. All right, now let's have a look at the left side of the editor, at the element panel. Here you find all the elements that you can add to a story page. On the top are five tabs. The left one leads to your personal media library. All graphics, images or videos that you've uploaded to WordPress are in here. And if you want to upload a file, you can simply drag and drop it to your canvas or to your media library. And you'll see I just uploaded this here and it pops up here. And you can also see that I already recorded this before, so we have the same logo twice right now. Under the next tab, you can source images, videos or GIFs. The images come from Unsplash, the videos from Cover and the GIFs from Tenor. And you should take note of the search bar because here you can type in any word and you'll most likely find a related video, photo or GIF. So let's try this. Let's try this with San Francisco. All right. And see, we have lots of images from San Francisco here. Okay, the next tab is the text tab, which you can use to add text. Then we have a tab for shapes and another one with template pages. And these are basically the pages from the templates that you saw earlier when we started here. If you want to add any element to the canvas itself, and it doesn't matter from which tab, you can either drag and drop it onto the canvas or simply click on the element. So let's try this. Here I searched for San Francisco. I think we're just gonna grab this and drop it here. Boom, there it is. And then we're gonna go over to the text tab and click on heading and then maybe a paragraph. And you see this also just pops up over here. Now that we've added some elements, let's take a closer look at our design canvas. You can click and grab each element and move it around on the page. And as soon as you do that, you'll notice that these pink lines will pop up. And these are not just random lines, they actually fill a purpose. The pink box is an indicator for your safe zone. And as long as you'll keep your text inside of this box, you can be sure that the text will be displayed correctly on different mobile devices. Elements that are outside of the safe zone might get cut off. The other pink line is 
basically a tool that helps you to align different elements on your page. So right now the line reacts to the outer, outer edge of this text and aligns it with the photo above. Below the canvas window, you'll see a few icons that you can use to either delete, duplicate, or create a new page. You can also undo or redo certain changes. And you can also use keyboard shortcuts for that. For example, if you want to copy something, that's Control Z and Control V. And if you want to have an overview of the keyboard shortcuts, you can click on this icon here and you'll see all the shortcuts that Web Stories for WordPress has to offer for you. And while we're down here, this section usually gives you an overview of your story. So let's add a few pages, duplicate it and a few more. So here you'll see page one, page two, page three, they're all here. Right now there's nothing on there, but if you have like 10 pages, this is really helpful. And you can also click on this grid view to see them here. Make them larger or smaller. Okay, let's delete these pages and go back to a start page. You might have already noticed that as soon as you click on an element, that the design menu on the right activates. And there are different menus for different elements. For example, for the image element, here you have an option to set the image as background. Let's try it. And for a text element, you don't have that option. But for a text element, you have options like saved colors, saved styles, and of course you can change the font. Let's change it to Anton. Basically, you can use the design panel to customize your assets. And we'll talk about these panels in more detail in the future. Below the design panel is another important section, the layers panel. Here you can change which asset is in the foreground and which is in the back. This is especially helpful when you're working with several elements stacked on top of each other. So right now, nothing will change because these elements are not stacked on top of each other. But if I want to put this text behind this photo, then I would want to do that. But if I want to put the photo behind the text, I'll just put the photo element behind the text and suck the text is in front of it. The elements panel on the left, the workspace and the design canvas in the middle, the design panel and the layers panel on the right. You use all of them when you create and design your web story. But when you finished your web story, then you're going to go to the document and checklist tabs. And in the document tab, you can put in your publisher logo, for example, you can include a poster image, which is important if you want your story to look good in Google Discover. You can add a description, which will help Google find your story. And the checklist is basically the tab that reminds you of things you might have forgotten. For example, here, we didn't add a poster image. So this checklist tells me, hey, add a poster image. And we didn't add a story title. So I think that's really important. Let's add in a story title. Let's see. Let's put in test story. And you can see this reminder immediately disappears. Now we've added a title and the checklist panel is happy with that. All right, thank you for tagging along. I hope this video has given you a solid overview over the editor. And in the next weeks, we're going to have a closer look at the different sections. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment. Until then, see you soon.